how do those moments make you better not only say the next night of a double header but in the long term um well it's it challenges you to stay mentally in it longer and we've seen it before like many times if you can stay mentally in a game or in a point longer than the other team you're going to be successful and it just takes some pressure off of uh, the next pass, the next play, the next attack. So it really just helps you out like throughout the season, throughout uh, the weekend, and your, like, your mental game is way better. The first set was very flat in our energy, so at the beginning of the second set we said, okay, we gotta, we gotta um, bring up the energy, and I think we did that, and that was key to our success in the second set. Why did you come out a little bit flat in the first Why? set? Why? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. We were just a little bit off. Um, kind of got stuck in the rotation, wasn't siding out like we normally do. I think we can improve on our side out like right away, get the next point. Um, also, we missed quite a bit of serves, so just kind of work on that, and that's kind of been our strength um, in the past, so we'll just tighten that up. Um, to a point, I think it's really going to benefit us like later in the season when like everyone starts getting in, because we definitely have a team that everyone helps. Like We get lots of subs in and everything, so it's definitely a big positive. Yeah. What do you think you do for those, like, for those rookies or anybody stepping into the line? Um, I think just being positive is a main main point. Like they need to know that they're not going to make everything perfectly, and like no one on the team is. So making them feel like even if they make an error, that's what happens, and that's just normal.